Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I help people find their center. In this video, I'm going to share with you seven ways on how being a light worker and transgender are similar and how to know if you are a light worker as a trans person. So for those of you that don't know, I came out in 2002 and at the age of 19 and I knew from the time I was four that I was trans, that I was different. However, back in the 80s and stuff, you didn't really hear any sort of like terminology about what it means to be trans. And I didn't have a vocabulary for that back then, but I came out at 19, I went through a spiritual awakening at that point, and it made me question reality. I started to go within more, and 2005, 2006, I went on hormones, and 2009, I had my first top surgery, and I started to change myself on the physical level. I started to see some physical changes. However, I always had a nagging sense of dysphoria, and... It wasn't until I got into Reiki in 2010-2011 and got into the healing arts and more recently meditation that I started to see more of a transformation and feel more like myself. I had a hysterectomy in the beginning of this year in January and it was the most transformative experience of my life. I stopped bleeding and cramping after two days and... The next day after my surgery, I was up, I was walking, I was doing qigong and some light tai chi, and I've felt amazing ever since. I've felt more whole and complete. Why? Because I put the physical work, what I was doing before, and combined it with the spiritual work and worked on myself from the inside out and started to question my beliefs, and now I feel more like myself, which is a divine human having a temporary experience here, a divine galactic being having a temporary human physical experience. And I'm here to be a, a way shower, a light worker. And if you're watching this video, you can only perceive of that which is a vibration of. So number one, how do you know if you're a light worker and if you're trans watching this? So You've always, number one is you've always known you were different. You've always known, like, that you were unique. You've always known, like, an inner knowing. This is something that you just know on a deeper level. And you you never quite fit in. You were, you know, the odd one in your family, the black sheep, the one that, you know, like always took on the emotions of everybody else. You went through a painful past, which most of us as trans folk do. So number two is like we don't like rigid structures, like don't like the government, don't like being told what to do. And the matrix system and anything to do with control and anything to do with rigidity. And as a trans man, I did not like being told what to do whatsoever. I did not like being told that I had to fit into a box of a feminine or a female at, assigned at birth. That never resonated with me. I always just preferred to be my own being, which is expressing more of a masculine energy. For me, I believe that we all embody both masculine and feminine energies. It just depends on what resonates with you more. I feel more comfortable and authentic expressing more of a masculine energy, which is more direct, which is more of a leader, which is more of yang energy, which is more a little bit more fiery, which is a little bit more blunt and outspoken. And as a trans person, I've actually gotten to balance my polarities of my yin and yang energy, my masculine and feminine energy to be a more complete and whole being. And that's why us trans people are here. So number three is you have a strong desire to help others. But 
you don't really like people. I'm not really a people person. I would prefer to go off on an ashram or live in a cave somewhere in the Himalayan mountains and just meditate all day. And I have no problems with being by myself, alone, in the middle of the woods somewhere. And it sounds amazing. However, I do feel a strong calling to help others. I feel a strong calling within my heart, within my spirit, to help others, to have compassion for others. You know, I prefer to be around, like, plants and animals as opposed to people. Sometimes even kids, like, on a small, very small level but I still feel compelled to help others I still feel compelled to up help others uplift themselves to help to help others heal themselves to help others find their center to do Reiki and natural therapeutics and if you're watching this you're most likely having that dichotomy of wanting to you know, kind of be away from people because their energy is too much, but also like a strong desire and a strong sense of compassion. And number four, being on this earth school is a struggle. It's the energy here. We're used to coming from higher dimensions where things are more chilled out and relaxed and more focused on Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness with Archangel Michael, things talking about unconditional love and light. And things of a higher vibration. And earth here is a very harsh environment for us sensitive souls. For us empaths. Who pick up on the energy of others. Who, you know. Like, the earth experience here is violent. It's very negative. The matrix, there's a lot of control. There's a lot of rigidity. There's uh, the binary gender system. Which we're here to help, you know turn the tables on that so number five is that what i just said before you're empathic you're highly gifted you're a sensitive being you're anxious you're depressed and that is because you have spiritual gifts you can read people's thoughts read people's emotions you have healing abilities clairvoyance clairsentience you have the ability to like uh, telepathic thoughts, you can see energies, and those are just to name a few. So a lot of trans people that I met are super gifted individuals with a lot of healing abilities, with a lot of super amazing spiritual gifts. So number six is we're comfortable with balancing our polarities. We're comfortable with balancing our energies and realized that we're here for a greater purpose and that is to the system of gender on this planet is too rigid and we came here to be born into the system and flip it inside out to make people wake up to make people become more flexible and fluid and to remember that we are soul beings with dual energies within us dual polarities in order to achieve unity to achieve zero point to achieve the Tao, which is the way yin and yang energy we are made up of both like i said before masculine and feminine energies and trans people have lived as both even though it may have been uncomfortable at times it really helped me at least to balance within and now i am a more well-rounded grounded and high vibrational being because I've learned to balance both polarities within myself and a lot of us unfortunately cisgendered people get stuck in one box and us as trans people help to get them to even question these boxes and these labels and number seven we're we know we're here for a greater purpose we know we're here to we're waiting for something huge to happen. We can feel the shift coming. We can feel a spiritual awakening happening. We can feel other things that are being stirred in the collective. And we're picking up on that. We're some of the first to wake up. A lot of trans people I know, me personally, we're strong and amazing individuals that have gone through a lot of hardships. And we took on a lot of the energy to help others to wake up. We are some of the first people to wake up. So remember if you're on your 
journey and you're first starting to wake up and realize this, that being trans is not a low vibrational thing. It's actually from a higher dimension linked with the rainbow prophecy, rainbow warriors, rainbow light workers, which says that those of us that are of a higher vibration, that are well balanced, that are spiritual, full of wisdom, compassion, and love came here to help others wake up and to help earth heal and people that are not out for people like us that are not out for the corporations that are not out for the matrix the money the government and holly weird but are out for the masses out for everybody to win and out for everybody to remember that we're spiritual beings having a physical experience and reality is not fixed so and just remember you're amazing being transgender actually means you're a transcender. We transcend limitations of gender and the matrix and our boxes. And we're here for a greater purpose. And you are 100% worthy, whole, and complete as you are. You are amazing. I love you. You are filled with love. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And if you want more tips on natural therapeutics, Reiki for trans people, healing from the inside out, finding your center... Tune in and check out some links below on what is Reiki, what are chakras. And remember, you can only help others when you learn to help yourself, when you fill up your own cup and balance your own self out. So I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Peace and unity.